Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Jimmy, and today we have another special banger for you, all right? Today we're gonna talk about Galaxy Opal, David Robinson. Yes, I pulled him, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's like of the video, push the video to the recommended, and subscribe, and we'll put you on Naughty Game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. So, David Robinson easily is, what, the second best, you know, power forward, um, center card in the game. Um, obviously, I think, Outside of Giannis um, at the power four position, I think Dave Robinson is the um, will be second. And then when you talk about centers, <laughs> I mean, well, you got Shaq, 100 overall Shaq and 100 overall Kareem. And then I think David Robinson will fall right behind that. But regardless, this is one of the best cards in the game. So I'm really excited to be able to pull him because I didn't really care about getting Kobe because I felt like Pink, Di Pink Diamond Kobe was still just as good as the Galaxy Opal. So I really wanted David Robinson and I was able to get him. 99 on offense and defense, seven foot one, 235 pounds. I mean, again, there is not a flaw on him, all right? And I'm gonna be honest with you. 91 three ball, 95 standing dunk, 95 driving dunk. He has an 86 ball handle. I added a shoe and gave him 99 block, 99 interior, and 99 offensive rebound. Of course, he has 93 perimeter, which is really strong. 93 speed, um, 99 strength, I added this shoe. Like, I'm just really big on hitting 99s here, so if I can get 99 on a card, I definitely go for it, because I just feel like it just takes it to the next level. Um, when you look at the badges, and let's just go over here and edit it real quick. All right, so the big ones here is this. You see fast feet, I needed to add fast feet. I only have a, a bronze fast feet. But the badges I would definitely recommend is Break Starter, obviously, um, Slithery, Fast Feet, Precision, um, Physical Handles are really big ones. And then if anything else I would recommend, I mean, there's not really, I would, I don't see anything else that he would need other than upgrading badges, okay? He doesn't need Giant Slayer, he's seven foot one. Maybe you wanna do Dimer if you wanted to. I mean, you could do that. Um, but for the most part, he has everything. Yeah, Open Looks would definitely be one I would do, so yeah let's do open looks like what am i doing here so you definitely want the open looks badge that's obvious so um i got that um for the most part that oh and slippery off ball but i would probably need to get that or higher than just bronze but i would do slippery off ball also um but again like i said the shoes these are the ones block interior 91 um the acceleration strength and offensive rebound i did but at the end of the day it's all about what you prefer but as you're going to see as we go ahead and do the shoot around, there's so many things positive about this card. But yet, let's head over there right now to the shoot around and let's talk about these animations. All right, so as you can see, first and foremost, he is missing a hot spot at the right elbow. And again, I'm not really sure why. I mean, this is a Galaxy Opal, but it is what it is. Um, his shot is now on quick. So, you know, everybody was used to it being on very, being very slow. Um, but now it's on quick and of course it's not the fastest thing in the world But it's still an easy jumper at the time, right? It's, it's not hard to time at all um, It's about as smooth as it's gonna get and again I can't wait to see this thing on very quick because it's gonna be really dope his leaner is on pro So you're gonna have really really good opportunities for leaner remember he do he do he does have um, Agent threes on gold so you can be able to you know get that 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 lean in there right be able to get them leaners in there and his spin jumper is basic so that's the only thing i was just like bruh that's the only thing that sucks about it he does have basic spin jumper it'd be nice if he had pro of course but so you're not going to really get any separation from that and his hop jumper is on basic so it's not going to be the worst um but it's still not the greatest i still feel normal hop jumper is going to be the best okay but now let's look at the what I really think is crazy about him. He has pro dribble style. And to me, pro dribble style is like, I mean, it's arguably the best dribble style you can get. You know what I mean? Outside of Kyrie Irving, in my personal opinion, because you can be able to speed boost out of both, right? But at the end of the day, his combo moves, what is going to allow him to do? Everything is basically pro on him, right? So what that means is that you're going to be able to do a snatch and go and get this snatch and going forward. And to me, that's going to be like, what's really going to be difficult for a lot of centers to stop or power forwards to stop. His behind the back is going to be simple, but it's really just a snatching and being able to go hard to the left or be able to speed boost out to the right or the left. So in my opinion, I think that's what's going to make him really good. He's going to be able to dribble. And then, of course, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho. He got the, uh, that's, he, that's, how does he have that? And the only thing is saying that he has pro, but that is definitely, um, De'Aaron Fox. That's De'Aaron Fox right there. So, anywho, um, did, um, DB doesn't have that, right? But that's De'Aaron Fox. So he has De'Aaron, De'Aaron, uh, De'Aaron, 
De'Aaron Fox is behind the back. So that's even crazier. So anyway, I, in my personal opinion, I feel like he is going to be more that like you can literally dribble with him. Like you could dribble, set screens, call screens from guards or centers and be able to create just like here alone, man. There's so much about him that makes him so OP. His dribbling is crazy, even though he only has an 86. So anywho, let's go ahead and get some gameplay. And of course, we'll keep on going from there. All right, so let's hop right into it. And as you can see, my man right here, he is going with the Diamond Kobe Shaq duo. And he has Zion with free agent Kevin Durant. So, I mean, he has a really solid team. Um, again, Kobe Bryant is just really good no matter what he is. Pink Diamond, Diamond with the quick release. So he's going to be pretty goaded. But as you're going to see off rip, man, like I said, by making him as a guard behind my back, going straight to the basket, and an easy dunk right there on Zion Williamson. He immediately calls a timeout. <laughs> Or he just stops. I don't listen, bro, man. I don't be getting these people, man. I guess he figured he wasn't supposed to cook them like that. I don't know. But regardless, he did call a timeout or just pause the game to change his settings off rip. But at the end of the day, I thoroughly believe you need to consider trying to use Giannis, David Robinson and stuff in pick and roll situations with your other center because it is very glitchy. And a lot of these centers in power forwards do not have pick dodger. They do not have the ability to get around the screens and help out. So you can do that. As you see right there, once again, I'm using that, going to the basket. He wants to help out, leaving Kareem wide open. Big greens do not leave him open. So again, David Robinson playing the point forward, point center position. But this is, honestly, as I get dunked right there, let's just keep it a stack. When you're trying to review cards, the only way you're really able to do a power forward center situation is kind of like, keeping the ball in their hands and using them more like I, what I use him like this in the ultimate game no not really but you see right there I get a fade and again it says slightly early um in my personal opinion I just felt like I was too far out as I get the little still right there I was just fading too far out and I feel like pro will do that to you a lot the pro leaner is like instead of kind of bringing you straight to the right it kind of brings you like a little it fades you back into the right so you got to be weary of that. I mean, I was damn near a fade, a leaning four-pointer that I shot. So just keep that in mind. But the separation is there. It's just little things like that. And again, same thing, call a screen. Easy dunk right there on Zion. Nothing has changed. Again, pick and roll. His sigs are really strong dribbling-wise. I just feel like that is the best way to utilize him. Again, like I said, his jumper is going to be really smooth, but it's not the quickest. So as you see right there, I'm taking up the court. I'm treating him just like a PG, right? Wide open for the three points for the four pointer. And again, slightly early, um, you know, but it's there, right? Like I said, the opportunity is there. Once again, call for the screen, going straight to the basket. Nothing is there. I pass it right back out. Then again, like I said, I'm trying to feed him, right? I'm trying to feed him. I do a little basic hop jumper. And for some reason, Kobe decides to wrap and brings him into my vicinity, but it was still wide open. So I could have hit that theoretically, but I was definitely fatigued all right so but anywho um as you gonna see right here another p and row opportunity with david robinson passing the ball into the corner and then having him cut straight to the basket getting a nice little mismatch and of course he gets fouled i think i should have made that regardless but you know it is what it is his free throw has not changed it's still the same it's very unorthodox right but you know sometimes you green them sometimes you don't so it is oh there you go i got a green so um but as you can tell, I mean, like, you know, really ain't got to do much gameplay with it. I mean, we kind of already know how Diamond David Robinson performed. This one right here is just a more souped up version. And again, he is going to be playable in any lineup, no matter what you have. Fast break down the floor. That should have been an easy pass to David Robinson. Um, again, man, I don't understand why, you know, I wish I could go. I should go back and just play that over, man. There's so many frustrations I can get sometimes with this game. Why in the world on a fast break, Kobe Bryant just throws the ball in the back of the opponent's head, right? You know what I mean? It's like, you know, it's just stuff like that that I just don't understand. But as you can see, again, he's kind of going hard, right? He's playing the passing lanes. So I'm trying to force the ball to David Robinson. He obviously now knows that. So he is absolutely denying David Robinson the ball. And, of course, David Robinson being an, an artificial intelligence, he doesn't know that. But I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what? Let me go and get this quick little leaner in. Kobe. At the end of the day, man, you can always count on Kobe, right? <laughs> Big greens right there for Kobe being Bryant. At the end of the day, if you need a bucket, go ahead and just feed it to Kobe, right? Or in this case, I can also give it to Kareem. Kareem be cooking with grease. Uh, another shot attempt right here that, he's, that you're going to see. Again, he's feeding Kobe. He goes up and, you know, people get away with, with everything. The whistle, I guess, you know, it is what it is. You know, he, he gets the foul call. But what I will say this, though as he just decides to call timeout right so i'm not sure what's going on oh he quits he quits so anyway the man quits out 
right? So there's no need to even go long-winded with it, but you can tell the card is going to be very strong. If you are one of the fortune ones to be able to pull them, congratulations. Use him, utilize him. He is a walking bucket. You can play him as a point forward, bring it up the floor just like you would with Giannis or Kareem or Shaq, these bigger guys that can dribble. He's definitely dang near 100 overall card. So, but um, y'all let me know in the comment section what you think. Where does he stand at in your top power forward center list? But other than that, this is your favorite old head, Uncle Jimmy. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.